Good morning, year one, and welcome to Friday's lesson of um, English. Um, today, we're going to shared right the end of the story. So over the course of this week, we've done the beginning of the story and we've done the middle of the story, which we split into two sections. So today we're going to use our story maps and the oral rehearsal to help us write the end of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. <clears throat> So again, I've put my story map up to help us. If you've got your story map, then that's fine. You can use that as well. If you want to do the actions as you're saying the sentences, if that helps you, then that's fine as well. So we're going to start off by looking at each individual sentence and we're going to practice those. And then we're going to go through and orally rehearse um, all of the sentences that make up the end of the story. Again, we've got those full stop prompts there to help us. So are you ready? So first sentence. Who's been sitting in our chairs? Growled the bears. Can you say that with me? Who's been sitting in our chairs? Growled the bears. Mine's broken, cried baby bear. Join in with me. Mine's broken cried baby bear. Next sentence. They went upstairs. Join in with me. They went upstairs. Now this is a slightly longer sentence. We're going to do this speech bubble first and then we're going to do this speech bubble. Who's been sleeping in our beds? Growled the bears. Can you do that with me? Who's been sleeping in our beds? Growled the bears. She's still there, squeaked baby bear. Again, can you join in with me? She's still there, squeaked baby bear. Goldilocks screamed and ran as fast as she could out of the forest. Join in. Goldilocks screamed and ran as fast as she could out of the forest. She was never seen again. Join in that last sentence with me. She was never seen again. Okay, let's go through all of the sentences and um, for the end of the story from start to finish. So, ready to join in. Who's been sitting in our chairs? Growled the bears. Mine's broken cried baby bear. They went upstairs. Who's been sleeping in our beds? Growled the bears. She's still there, squeaked baby bear. Goldilocks screamed and ran as fast as she could out of the forest. She was never seen again. So like the rest of the week, we're going to say the sentence. We've got the pictures there to help us. And then you're going to pause the video so that you can write it down. Again, remember um, to make sure that your sentences have capital letters, that there are finger spaces in between each of the words, that there are full stops in the end of each sentence. And you've got the prompts there to help you and that your letters are nice, neat and tidy, and um, that they're formed correctly and that they're sitting on the line. Okay, so first sentence at the end. Who's been sitting in our chairs? Growled the bears. Now again, we've got the first part of the sentence there to help you, so you can copy that. We've got a question mark because obviously it's a question. Um, growled the bears and then we put that full stop. So say the sentence with me. Who's been sitting in our chairs? growled the bears. So pause the video while you write that sentence down in your books. Okay, next sentence. Mine's broken, cried baby bear. Can you say that one with me? Mine's broken, cried baby bear. Write that sentence in your books. And then the next sentence, they went upstairs. Can you say that sentence with me? They went upstairs. Again, pause the video while you write that sentence down. They went upstairs. 
Okay, now we're going to split this into two sentences. So we're going to do this part first and then write that down. And then we'll do this part and then I'll give you time to write that down. So who's been sleeping in our beds, growled the bears. So say that with me. Who's been sleeping in our beds, growled the bears. Pause the video while you write that part of the sentence down. And then the second part of that sentence, she's still there, cried baby bear. Or she'll say squeaked baby bear. So let's do that again. She's still there, squeaked baby bear. You join in with me? She's still there, squeaked baby bear. Again, pause the video while you write down the second part of that sentence. Okay, now moving on to this sentence. Goldilocks screamed and ran as fast as she could out of the forest. So say that with me. Goldilocks screamed and ran as fast as she could out of the forest. So pause the video while you write that down. And then the final sentence um, of the story, she was never seen again. Can you write that? Uh, can you say that with me? She was never seen again. Again, write that down. Pause the video. OK, so now you've written down the end of the story, just like previous days, I want you to go through this checklist um, check your work and make any changes if you need to. And also, again, you've got the year one common exception word list. So again, if there are any words on there that you've used today, check that you've spelt them correctly. And if you haven't, um, then use the, the um, word map to help you. Well done. I hope you've enjoyed writing Goldilocks and the Three Bears this week, year one. And next week, we'll move on to um, writing your own version of Goldilocks.